The strategy of contrived durability is generally not prohibited by law. Manufacturers are free to set the durability level of their products. This is criminal. Now, for those that don't know what this means, I will give you the definition immediately. Plan obsolescence is a business strategy of an intentional or intentionally de designing products with a short predetermined lifespan to encourage repeat purchases. This can be achieved through various methods like using inferior materials, designing for difficult repairs, or using software to hinder functionality. The goal is to drive ongoing sales and profit by making products obsolete, which can lead to increased consumption and waste. Though some uh, argue rapid technological progress also contributes to product obsolescence. Hello, I'm dealing with it right now. I have an iPhone 14, it's been acting funky, okay? They want me to get the 17, but hey iPhone, I say fuck you. I'm gonna keep using my 14 till the wheels fall off, mm -hmm. okay? Fix my phone, you bastards. The strategy of contrived durability is generally not prohibited by law. Manufacturers are free to set the durability level of their products. This is criminal. This is criminal in my opinion. Because I'll use my life as an example. I have, a 19, I have a 1996 Chevy Silverado, which runs like a top, runs great, right? And then I have a 2017 Nissan, right? And what's wild is the transmission blew out on my 2017 Nissan. And it blew out at like 83,000 miles. I've got over 200,000 miles on a 1996 Chevy Silverado. And it runs perfect, but my transmission is out on a 2017. That's to me that is plan obsolescence. It's it's intentionality to get you to keep consuming and buying. Pro and mind you, if I went to get that done at the manufacturer or like from where I need to get it done, it would cost me six grand. And honestly, I don't have six grand laying around, so that's fucked up. So that's a 30 year old car, and that Jeep runs like it's fucking brand new. Keith hasn't even done any maintenance to the transmission. And it runs like a top because I've driven it too. Mm -hmm. So it's like, why does Keith's 1995 and my 96 run like a top, but my 2017's fucked up?